to determine the mass of two different objects using beam balance physical balance physical balance works on the principle of moments according to which if a body is in equilibrium under a number of forces acting on a plane then the sum of anti clockwise moments is equal to the sum of clockwise moments madam how can we determine the mass of two different objects using beam balance physical balance for a physical balance having equal arms a weight of the object in left pan into a is equal to weight of standard weights in right pan into a as g is constant at the place therefore mass of the object in left pan is equal to mass of standard weight in right pan let's do an experiment to determine the mass of two different objects using beam balance physical balance our aim here is to determine the mass of two different objects using beam balance physical balance the materials required are physical balance beam balance weight box with fractional weights two given objects whose masses are to be measured procedure first of all adjust the baseboard horizontal by adjusting leveling screws provided at the base in such a way that the plumb line hangs exactly over the fixed pointed tip t now lift the beam softly without any jerk with the help of the lever attached near the base board check the position of the pointer on the scale it should stay at rest and coincide with the zero mark on the scale or move to and fro equal divisions over the scale about the zero division if pointer is moving more in one direction then rotate the adjusting screw s1 of that side outward or screw s2 of other side inward until the pointer starts to stay at rest at zero or move equal divisions over the scale about zero division when screw s1 or s2 is rotated the beam should be lowered down using lever and when checked the beam should be lifted using lever place the object whose mass is to be measured in the left pan and standard weights in the right pan now take a rough idea of the mass of the object to be measured if the pointer is moving more towards the object pan left pan for 40 g standard weight in right pan and moving more towards the stand and weight span right pan at 50 g standard weight then mass of the object will be between 40 g and 50 g now place 40 plus 50 divided by 2 is equal to 45 g standard weights in right pan and again check the position of the pointer if pointer is moving more towards the standard weight pan then mass of the object is between 40 g and 45 g now again repeat the step 6 by reducing weight till the range is reduced to 1 g now repeat the step 6 with fractional weight till the range is reduced to 1 mg now bring the beam in rest position using lever and collect the weights and add them to find gravitational mass of the object remove the first object from the left pan and place another object in this pan now repeat steps 5 to 10 to find the gravitational mass of the second object observations object mass x in gram mass y in milligram total mass x plus y in gram result mass of the first object m1 is equal to x gram mass of the second object m2 is equal to x gram precautions physical balance should be leveled with the help of leveling screw before performing the experiment the pans should be clean and dry and should be at rest properly on knife edges 
The beam should be raised without any jerk using lever. The side windows should be closed before raising the beam through lever. The pointer should move equal divisions on both sides of the zero mark. When beam is raised and both pans are empty, the body whose mass has to be measured should be placed in left pan and standard weights should be placed in right pan. Standard weights should be placed in the pan using forceps only when beam is in rest position. Sources of error If the door and windows of the balance are not closed, then air might disturb the weighing process. The weight used may not be standard. Friction at various parts of the balance can produce error. Thank you, ma'am, for this knowledgeable experiment.